We have a new proximity sensor, the VCNL36828P. It's a VIXEL-based proximity sensor with I2C interface. And we're going to take four or five minutes of your time to learn about this sensor. I'm Jim Toll. I'm part of the Apto team. And I'm recording in our studio in San Jose, California. So the VCNL36828P combines a vertical cavity surface emitting laser or VIXEL and a photodiode and an application specific IC all into a very, very small package. It has a proximity sensing range of up to 20 centimeters and it has loads of programmability. You can program the VIXEL drive current from seven milliamps to 20 milliamps, which controls your range. You can choose 12-bit or 16-bit resolution. You can set upper and lower thresholds. You can set the persistence level, which means how many times that signal has to be above the threshold before you do something. And then you can set the measurements per second as well. The VCNL36828P has extremely low power consumption. When in idle mode, when it's not taking a measurement, it draws a current of five microamps. It also has a supply voltage of 1.8 volts. Those two combined make this perfect for battery operated devices that need a proximity sensor. Because it has a VIXEL, the emission angle is extremely narrow, which allows you to make the window opening uh, that is needed for the sensor to be very, very small. It has multiple I2C addresses, so you can have two sensors operating on a single I2C bus communicating with one microcontroller. It is a very small, small sensor. It's two millimeters by one millimeter by 0 0.5 millimeters. So it can be used in extremely tight spaces. And finally, it has sunlight cancellation, up to 140 kilolux of cancellation, so it can be used outdoors. This is by no means our first proximity sensor. Shown on the screen is a list of all of our proximity sensors. The VCNL36828P is the fourth VIXEL-based sensor, and given its two slave addresses and extremely small size, that's what sets it apart from all of our other proximity sensors. Some possible applications for the VCNL36828P, they can be used in wireless earbuds, uh, where they're actually sensing whether they're in your ear or not. Uh, but because we have two slave addresses, you could potentially put two sensors into an earbud, uh, one for the power control when it's in your ear, and then perhaps one for when it's in the charging case. And again, the low power consumption features of this sensor make it ideal for battery-operated applications. You could also use the sensor to detect the presence of a hand in a touchless dispenser. Uh, here again, you're controlling the range of when you want to detect that hand by controlling or programming the forward current of the VIXEL. The VCNL36828P can be used here in a couple of applications where it's basically a touchless button. The sensor itself would be under a, a smooth piece of glass. And so in the uh, portable speaker system, again, that low power mode really comes into effect because it's a battery operated devices so you could use it as an on off or a wake up function the speakers are often used outside so that sunlight cancellation that we talked about earlier will really absolutely play a role here with the uh, portable speakers um, when you have an application where you need multiple sensors uh, lined up for different features but in a very tight area that narrow VIXEL emission and small package size plays a key role in allowing you to put these sensors very close together but still serve as different functions. Thank you for taking about five minutes of your time to learn about the VCNL 36828P. If you want to get a data sheet or application note for this sensor or for any of our Opto products, you can go to vishay.com slash opto. If you want design support, or samples, you can contact any of the guys on your screen, whether you're in America, Europe, or Asia. And again, thanks for your time.